Hey everyone, how y'all doing? Welcome to Studies with Daya. Today, we are going to be drawing an eye or doing a study of an eye. As you can see, I have a couple of examples here of studies of eyes that I've done. And they're exclusively a pen, except for this one. It's got a little bit of color pencil going on. But um, yeah, let's not waste any time, shall we? Our supplies for the day will be three pins, okay? So this first one is a big pen and it's got like four different colors going on we're going to be using the red right here okay our second pen is another red pen and this is a pintail wow pen and <laughs> what i've noticed is that it has it's darker than this red on here and so we will be using this for like the darker shadows but you can use just one pen too it'll be fine and this last pen that i'm going to use is going to be a uniball signal signal broad pen and it's a white pen we're going to be using that for the highlights so let us get to the reference this is our reference today i got this image from pinterest and what i'm going to do is i'm going to zoom in on it and we're going to draw this eye right here all right so let's begin i'm going to draw this eye right here i wish i could show you the reference while i'm drawing but unfortunately i do not have the facilities for that right now so what we're going to do first is we're going to test the pin to make sure it's working. Then we're going to go back, right? First thing I'm going to do is draw a little plus sign, right? Very lightly, since this is a ballpoint pin, I can get that kind of variation. And kind of lightly, I can sort of cheat and sketch by doing this. So what this plus is for is I'm going to put the iris in the middle. As you can see, I kind of draw like big irises and stuff in eyes and that's just kind of my style to be honest so if i look at the reference what we're going to see is that the pupil which is going to be about right here overlaps with the eyelid and so the eyelid actually covers part of the eye or the iris so i'm going to put this here and draw down the little let me show you the first thing I'm going to draw is this right here, as well as like the top eyelid and then like the corner of the eye, which is here. But as you can see, she's got like this white eyeliner or something that's extending her eye that makes it look like it's bigger than it is. But we're going to start by drawing this little piece right here and then kind of go like here. And what we're going to do is we're going to compare everything to the iris and the pupil. So as you can see, this right here is right under the iris so we're gonna draw that first so that little crease in the eye is about this low under the pupil i mean under the iris i'm going to measure that again to make sure okay it's about this much so then i'm going to go here i'm going to see how far away from the iris that piece is so it's about this far out right and so what i'm going to do is i'm going to draw this line over the iris that ends about right here and so that's that little tear duct I think is what it's called so then what the eye kind of does is it goes up like this right her actual eyelid ends right under her iris so we're gonna draw this little curve right here I'm trying not to make it super defined but as you can see that's not working out for me so we're just gonna keep going <laughs> now we're gonna see where the other tear duct is the one that will go right here and in comparison to that, it is parallel to right here, actually, on the eyelid. And this is because her head is tilted in this image, but I'm going to draw it exactly the same. And it's about this far away from the iris. So then we're going to just draw this line here. And it about there. And then kind of follow the lines. Ooh, hold up. That's supposed to be curved a little bit. Something ain't right. Okay, and now we're gonna come back down and meet our other line here. And then we have the main shape of the eye. So next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of define that tear duct. It kind of stops about right here in her eye. I will show you. Okay, so here is what I was talking about. The tear duct ends kind of right here. And as you can see, this is where our actual eyelid ends versus where like it's kind of drawn to look bigger so we're going to draw this secondary and i say that with extreme quotation marks the secondary eyelid <laughs> and um then we'll start kind of defining some things here 
Okay. Um, I've noticed that her eye is actually kind of slimmer. So we're going to do that. Then we're going to draw. I'm going to draw this part right here. The secondary eyelid that I was talking about. This wasn't supposed to be a tutorial video, but here we are, I guess. Um, it kind of ends like right here. I always get kind of nervous when drawing with pen because it's like you have no way to erase. And that can be kind of stressful, but it also kind of forces you to just go for it, you know. And honestly, I'm becoming a lot more comfortable with that. And that is very nice. Okay, so now that we got that, I'm going to add a little shading in the eyes. I kind of just do swirls like this because it's easy and I like how it looks, right? So, so her eyes are kind of dark because they're brown. Brown eye gang, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so now we darkened that, but I've still made the pupil darker, but we're going to add some more. Now what I'm going to do so I'm going to attempt to draw the eyelid. She has kind of like monolithic eyes, so she doesn't really have that much of an eyelid, but it's still like, it's still there. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, there's the eyelid. As you can see, I've completely abandoned these marks right here. Um, So here's where the difficult part comes. Knowing what to do next is kind of the issue. Still using the same pen. I'm going to start adding some of the darker shades it kind of comes a little bit here and then out some more that's where the shading is at least and then i'm going to add a little shading here because i can um add a little shading here because i can um and because that's what i see now the difficult part the eyeliner she's got going on so it's a little bit above her pupil and ends like right where her tear duct begins. I know I'm not, no, that's not right. Um, okay, it, okay, here we go. <laughs> See, this is the kind of mistakes you just make when you're using pen. So then the next one kind of follows this a little bit, then it comes up right here. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna be able to fit her eyebrow, as you can see, because this next eye is up here. Uh, haunting me. I'm gonna come back down. But she's got one that like, oh boy. Okay. Um, does it? Yeah, it kind of slants like this. Hopefully, this will look better when I fill it in. Please, please, Lord. Okay. Um, come back down. About right here. And using different parts for eye to kind of chart out where these little pieces are that we're gonna. This one kind of follows this line right here. So we're going to come this way and up a little bit. Let's see how far, how far we come up. It's about this high. So we're like that. A bit straight over line. And it comes here. Oh boy. Sorry, movie, nervioso, movie. <laughs> okay. Uh, hold on. Okay, this one follows this. How far under the eye does it come? The eyelid. Okay, it comes about that. Ooh, hold up. Wait a minute. This far under the eyelid? So, like, about here is where it stops. With a little point. A little curvy point. Then stops right here. Yep. Mm-hmm. Just like that. Uh, oh, she also has like this little mole right here. That's just chilling. That looks nice. I like that. Okay. Um. Then this next one ends like right here. It's a little flaky because her eye, like her bottom eyelid, is kind of getting in the way, so it's kind of bent a little bit. I'm gonna do my best to replicate that. Nope, it didn't happen. That's okay. That's all right. Her sec, her like under bottom eyelid is like right here. It kind of does some of this action. I don't know what the call is. <laughs> okay, so now that we added the main stuff, now I'm gonna shade because because I can. And the eyeliner is clearly very dark. And so I'm just gonna fill all this in a little bit for now. Kind of just go with it to be honest. 
there's no like pattern to this like I could just fill it in if I wanted to but I like these squirrels so that's what I'm gonna do and if it doesn't turn out right oh well this is a sketch a study it does not matter oh I for, almost forgot about that one this is kind of strange I feel like something's kind of off Ooh, I gotta fill that in because I don't messed it up dang okay this is fine <laughs> Okay, so now it's becoming a little bit more difficult to kind of define all this stuff because I only have one pen. And um, you can, like I said, do this with one pen. However, it's just so much easier to um, use, like, two different variations of color. And I'm just using these larger, I use larger, looser swirls. For like lighter areas, as you can see here, like this is a lighter area, so I use bigger swirls. But then, like when it gets darker, I use smaller ones. Um, I think I may need to fill this in some more since it is so dark. But I'm probably going to start using that other pen now. Okay, we're gonna add a little bit of variation here. Just a little, a little light. Variation. Um, then she's got like this one eyelash that's coming down right here. And then the top of her eye right here is like really dark because of the shading. And then carry that on down here. Okay. Next pen. So I'm going to fill in obviously the pupil because it's very dark. Like, you see what I'm saying? I couldn't have gotten this without this pen. Um, then around the outside of the pupil, I mean, the iris, gracious. Um, then here around her, like her eyelash line. Like, you, like you just see the difference, you know? Oh, also, I just, I just noticed, just noticed, that right here, Tear duct is a little bit darker, and then this area right here is kind of shaded too. But I need to make a clear difference between the iris and that area. There we go. It's looking better. It is. It is. Okay, we're gonna chill out with this pen for a minute, even though I want to add some more. I'm gonna darken this a little bit, I'm filling the inside. Then I'm gonna fill in the rest of this right here, make it a bit darker because I want to. Now comes the time to darken this, this little eye crease right here, and then it kind of disappears. Not poop. Just, I, that's not big enough right there. So I gotta fill it in. Okay. Now I'm gonna fill this in some more. Here we go. Fill that in. Cause it kinda, kinda, it kinda be sloping a little bit. It's supposed to be like an eyeliner wing, I guess, but I just didn't, I just didn't do that very well, you know? Um here and then it kind of just ends I feel like I have made this area right here too big so I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller okay it's coming together you know um so now this area is shaded a little bit just a couple of big swirls nothing serious and then a little bit here, uh oh, computer trying to go to sleep. Okay. So it's shading here. So that's what we got going on. Right. Um, I already did that. Kind of comes like that. So we got some here. Yep, okay, 
I think that's enough to kind of tell you what's going on here. Um, you actually can't really see how I or um eyelashes, so I'm not going to bother myself too much with doing that. Darken that a little bit. I'm trying to differentiate the secondary first kind of like eyelid. There we go. Okay, so now almost done. Now I'm going to add a little shine in the eyes and hers is kind of odd shaped. It's like, okay, test, test your pins, test your pins. Yep. Okay. So I kind of follow this line kind of curves like this and then comes down like that and goes back up cuts through that iris. I mean the pupil a little bit. Sometimes I kind of dab it like this because if like if I swirl too much, then you can see the pin stroke. And I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of that. Okay. All right, and so this is kind of like very white. So what I'm gonna do? Oh no, that did not work. Because I was supposed to pat. I did, couldn't remember which one. But if you pat it, you won't get your full fingerprint in there like that. Oh, boy. I've done it now. Okay, okay. This might be salvageable. There we go. See, there we go. Okay, we're going to leave that alone. <laughs> I don't want to mess it up. So, let's compare. Okay, so this is a drawing. And this is the original. And as you can see, I think I made the eye too squinted. But it's pretty close, and this is just a throwaway study, so it is fine. I'm not going to lie, it did not turn out the way I wanted it to. <laughs> but like I said, this is a study. As you can see, I'm doing a lot of them. So these are supposed to be throwaway, and these are supposed to be just like experimenting. Um, I think what I could probably fix is how I comes outside of those lines. Like, I could do better. But anyway... Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you want more studies like this, let me know. Anyway, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.